Android has been patching security vulnerabilities for as long as it's been around. Even in 2020, even though a lot of it has been patched and corrected, there are still loopholes that can be very easily exploited and most notably unaware users. So each time you download an app, it asks for permissions for all the hardware and all the files that it wants to use on your device to achieve its functionality. But to what extent is giving those permissions okay and what exactly can those apps do with those permissions? In this video, we're going to use a tool called MSF Venom to make a rogue app that can well, quite frankly speaking, get into your phone in less than five minutes. So the first thing that we're going to do after firing Kali Linux is to find out our local IP address by typing in ifconfig in the terminal. Then to generate the payload, type in the msf venom command followed by the actual payload, your local IP address, the local port and the directory you want to save the apk file to. Once you're done with that, just hit enter and msf venom will generate the payload for you. Now type in the msf console command to start the metasploit framework. Wait for it to start and then type in multi slash handler to set your handler. Set in your payload, localhost and the local port exactly how you did in the command before and type in exploit to start the listener. Now over on your phone, install the apk we just generated. Ignore any warnings and give it all the permissions we need. You'll notice that the apk doesn't do anything and that's because it's just an empty android activity. Back over on our host machine, you'll notice that the session has started and now you practically own the target device. You can dump messages, call logs, get the GPS location on the device and even send text messages. And if that isn't scary enough, you can take pictures, stream the target device's cameras, record from the mic, install or remove apps and start a shell to do whatever else you want. And that's it. That's literally all it takes for someone to set up a rogue app and hack into your phone. Now you don't really need to worry about it too much though. As long as you're downloading apps from the Play Store and not some fishy third-party website, you're pretty much good to go. However, keep in mind that some apps do manage to get sneaky and get on the Play Store. For more information on Android vulnerabilities and their fixes, read our website Canada Technology. Google does a really good job of keeping such apps in check and removing them from the Play Store, but if your file manager is asking for permissions to read your messages or your calls, you should probably switch to a new one. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe on your way out and we'll see you soon.